Hi, I'm Dave Erickson, and this is the early prototype of the Multi-Zone Stereo, a system for whole house audio control. It allows eight audio sources to be independently played in up to eight different zones. Each zone has an independent source select using an 8x8 stereo crosspoint. Each zone has an independent full-featured preamp to allow tailoring the sound to that room and its speakers. It can drive any speakers and amplifiers from low-cost PC speakers to high-end audio components. The system is really an audio control center with many control options, but currently only the serial port is implemented. It has a 32-button keypad down here, a graphic LCD here, uh, and uh, soon it will have a encoder knob. You can see it's not connected up yet. So that will be used for volume. So the full, full features right from the front panel to allow you very quick access. Uh, it will also soon have an infrared remote control. In, a, in, the, future, in the future I plan to add uh, Ethernet so that we can have a web page interface. So you can access it through any device with a web browser. I also plan to have it do simple control of a music server. For example, uh, uh, find uh, find music, go to the next song, uh, play, pause, stop, that kind of thing. Now for the tour. On the lower right, we have the lower left. Sorry, we have the uh, CPU board uh, with the Dis STM32 Discovery module. Uh, this WizNet module is uh, is just sitting there. It's not actually connected or and there's no software for it yet. But I would like to use WizNet uh, primarily to keep the software simple and to uh, prevent having to support a, a TCP IP stack. Um, there's the graphic LCD. It's a 128 by 64 uh, monochrome. And you can see supports. Mostly it's uh, text right now, but uh, I'm going to add uh, graphics displays for uh, bar graphs so you can look at it real quick and tell where the volume and, and the uh, tone controls are set. Um, but for now, like I say, it's only, it's only text. Let's see, over here we have the 8x8 crosspoint board. So those are uh, eight sets of stereo input jacks. Eight uh, input buffers, uh, 16 input buffers for uh, uh, eight stereo. And these are the uh, these are the crosspoint chips, and those are eight by eight CMOS crosspoints. It's controlled um, over I squared C, and there's two output connectors. Each one of these feeds power, I squared C control, and and uh, four stereo channels to a preamp uh, board. And the preamps are are quad preamps. There's two of them. They're identical. And each one is a four output, uh, four channel preamp. The preamps are, you can see, only uh, one channel right here is uh, it's populated right now. The other seven will be uh, done very quickly. And uh, right now the preamp, the cross point is completely working and that one preamp channel is completely working. So I expect that I'll have uh, the other seven channels going pretty quickly. Um, let's see. Here, let's see if I can do a demo of playing music. Like I say, the only controls right now are serial port. Let's see what we got here. Okay, let's turn down the volume a little. Let's look at the display while I adjust the volume. See the volume number changing. Volume up. And let's see, bass, we got bass up a little bit, so let's adjust the bass down, mid range, and the treble. And let's see, I got a three sources. Thir I got eight sources, but uh, uh, five of them aren't hooked to six of them aren't hooked to anything. So there's an off source, there's the sound. Let's get some more volume. And in here, this is a sweep generator. 
turn up the volume on that. And we will shut that off and I'll show you what the sweeps look like. Over here to our friendly neighborhood scope. This is uh, that's a frequency sweep uh, over the audio range. So you can see, adjust the mid range mid range tone control, and the mid range drops down. Uh, adjust it up. We get mid range. Uh, treble, same thing. So you boost the treble, drop the treble back down, and the bass control, and boost the bass. And let's see, you can adjust the volume. There's the overall volume, and there's the volume being adjusted back down. Anyway, um, I'm pretty happy with the way it sounds and, uh, and the way it's performing. I haven't done any electrical tests other than a quick listening test and looking at the waveforms on the scope. But I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy with how things have gone so far. Um, I'd like to say that this has uh, been a fun project uh, and I look, definitely look forward to uh, finishing it up and to packaging it in a decent uh, decent enclosure and having it having it be in my living room where where it belongs so thank you for listening